Welcome in Engineering Materials and Metallurgy subject. Today we will discuss about the different structures present in the iron-iron uh, carbide equilibrium diagram. So the in equilibrium phase diagram, the following phases are exist. So first is phase is the austenite, second is a ferrite, third is a perlite, fourth is a cementite, fifth is a martensite, and sixth is the ladybeurite. Austenite phase is denoted by the letter gamma. Ferrite is in the two form that is alpha ferrite and delta ferrite. Perlite is the combination of ferrite and cementite that is AP plus alpha plus AP3C. Then cementite is AP3C. Then martensite and ladybeurite. So these are the various structures or phases present in the iron carbon equilibrium diagram which is applicable for steel and cast iron next unit cell of various metals so here in diagram you will see the unit cell for the various metals so this is first austenite phase so here uh, the atoms are located here so this is the unit cell for austenite which is a phase center so the number of atoms are located on the corners as well as the number of atoms are located at the faces of the unit cell. That's why the austenite having a FCC structure. So here the blue colored atoms are ferrous atoms that is iron atoms and this yellow atom is a carbon atoms. So austenite is formed by the combination of ferrous and carbon. Then second diagram is uh, for the ferrite, which may be alpha ferrite or delta ferrite. So it contains uh, the pure iron or the only the iron alpha or ferrous present in the material. So here the structure for the ferrite is a BCC, that is a body center close packed system. So here a number of atoms located at the corners and one atom is also located at the interior of the unit cell. So this is the unit cell for ferrite which may be alpha ferrite or delta ferrite. For ferrite only uh, ferrous is present. For austenite uh, the combination of ferrous and carbon is present. Then third unit cell is a martensite. So here you can observe the martensitic cell. So the, it is the combination of ferrous and carbon again. So here uh, the pink uh, atoms are uh, ferrous atoms and uh, carbon atom is also there. So here a uh, number of uh, carbon atoms are located on the number of uh, ferrous atoms are located on the corners of unit cell as well as at the interior of the unit cell. And carbon is present in the interstitial space or the carbon atoms are present in the interstitial sites of uh, ferrous atoms. So this is the unit cell for the martensitic structure next so the effect of a percentage of carbon by weight on the lattice dimensions for martensite is as shown in the figure d note the interstitial position of the carbon atoms and the increasing dimension of c with increasing carbon content thus the unit cell of martensite is in the shape of rectangular prism so this is the shape of the rectangular prism so if carbon percentage is zero then the length or interatomic space C is, will be equal to 0.286 nanometer and length is 0.286 nanometer. If percentage of carbon increases, then this spacing will going to increase. Therefore, for 0.4 percentage of carbon, there will be 0.291 percentage of C distance and nanometer and A will be 0 0.2856. Then this is a microstructure of different phases of steel. So first one is for austenite. So it will have only 
the mixture of alpha ferrite and that is a ferrous and carbon so uniform distribution of the uh, polygonal equia structure is there for austenite then second this is the diagrammatic representation of the perlite which shows uh, the lamina uh, combination of uh, alpha and ep3c that is a alpha ferrite and cementite so this is the structure of perlite which is a combination of the alpha and ep3c next is a ferrite so this is the structure of the ferrite which is uh, the bright portion is a ferrite so this is the microstructure of the alpha ferrite or delta ferrite the feather structure is there then next is a uh, uh, diagram a shows the microstructure of the austenite diagram b shows the microstructure of the ferrite polygonal equia structure then diagram c shows the microstructure for the perlite so here this white portion or bright portion is a ferrite that is alpha ferrite and this dark region is called as a cementite so the interlaminar spacing or distance arrangement of the uh, alpha ferrite and cementite is called as a perlite then this is also a diagram of the perlite so electron micrograph is there so the diagram b is also for the perlite in definition of structures so alpha ferrite or ferrite is also known as alpha solid solution it is an interstitial solid solution of all of small amount of carbon dissolved in alpha that is a bcc iron it is stable from form of an iron below 912 degree celsius the maximum solubility of is 0.025 percent carbon at 723 degree celsius or 727 degree celsius and it dissolves only 0.008 percentage of carbon at room temperature it is the softest structure that appears on the diagram then uh, ferrite at uh, the average properties are the tensile strength of the ferrite is equal to uh, 40000 psi then uh, per percentage of elongation is 40% in 2 inch then hardness rockwell hardness varies from c0 to rockwell hardness is 90 for the ferrite so it is a somewhat soft and ductile phase this is also in diagram you can see the arrangement of the ferrite atoms or molecules the second one is a perlite so perlite is a eutectoid mixture containing 0.80% of carbon and is formed at 727 or 723 degree celsius on very slow cooling so perlite will be formed by a eutectic eutectoid reaction so it is a very fine plate like or lamellar mixture of ferrite and cementite it is what plate like or lamellar mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite so here you can also see the ferrite and cementite the white ferritic background or the matrix contains thin plates of the cementite that is a dark so this background is a white background is called as a ferrite region or ferrite portion and this uh, dark plates are called as a cementite so here you can observe this dark black plates which are the cementite so perlite average properties of the perlites are tensile strength is 1 lakh 20000 psi then elongation is 20% then hardness will be rockwell hardness 95 to 100 or bhn is equal to 250 to 300 so the perlite is quite harder than the ferrite next phase is a austenite phase the austenite is an interstitial solid solution of carbon dissolved in the gamma fcc iron so the maximum solubility is 2% carbon at 1130 degree celsius or 1147 degree celsius is the maximum temperature for the solubility at 2% of the carbon so it has a high permeability so the most of the heat treatment begins with the single phase so it is normally not stable at room temperature but under certain condition it is possible to obtain austenite at room temperature 
So the average properties are tensile strength is generally 150,000 PSI. Then the elongation is a 10% and Rockwell hardness is 40 approximately. Then the toughness is high for the austenite. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the austenite phase. Next definition of the structures in that cementite or iron carbide, it is a very hard, brittle and intermetallic compound of iron and carbon as AP3C contains 6.67% of carbon. So it is the hardest structure that appears on the diagram. Exact melting point is unknown for the cementite. It is a crystal structure, it, its crystal structure is orthorhombic. So the properties are it has a low tensile strength approximately 5000 psi but it has a very high compressive strength and a brittle nature then next is the lenipurite it is the eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite so it will form at a percentage 4.3 percentage of carbon and the temperature is 1130 degrees celsius or 1000 147 degrees Celsius. So this is the, again a somewhat brittle structure of austenite and cementite. Next one is a martensite, a super saturated solid solution of carbon in ferrite is a martensite. It is formed when steel is cooled so rapidly that change from the austenite to perlite is suppressed. So the, when uh, the steel is uh, suddenly cooled or rapidly cooled, the austenite does not transform to perlite or it does not transform to bainite. So austenite conversion to martensite, which is a hard phase. Middle shape structure is there. So the interstitial carbon atoms dis distort the BCC ferrite into a BC tetragonal structure, that is a BCT. So the responsible for the hardness of the quenched steel. The iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram a map it is the map of the temperature at which different phase changes occurs on a very slow heating and cooling in relation to the carbon called as a iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram iron carbon diagram shows the type of alloys form under very slow cooling then proper heat treatment then how the properties of steel and cast iron are radically changed by heat treatment so this is uh, various features of the iron carbide equilibrium diagram. So phases present here. The first phase is a delta, that is a BCC structure, which is a paramagnetic. So the delta ferrite. Then second is the alpha ferrite, that is a BCC structure, which is a ferromagnetic, firmly, a fairly it is a ductile. Then austenite phase, it is a BCC structure, non-magnetic in ductile in nature. Then cementite, it is the AP3C, orthorhombic structure and hard and metal in nature. Then maximum solubility of carbon in ferrite is 0.022%. Then maximum solubility of carbon in austenite is 2.11%. Then the reactions in the iron carbide equilibrium diagrams are peritectic. That is the liquid plus solid gives the solid. The second one is a eutectic. That is the liquid gives two solids. That is austenite and AP3C cementite and third is the eutectoid that is uh, one solid gives the two solids so the austenite will get transformed into the alpha ferrite and cementite that is also called as a perlite so these are the various phases present in the iron carbide equilibrium diagram at various temperature condition with respect to the composition of the carbon in iron Thank you for watching the topic iron carbide equilibrium diagram.